50 years ago today. A grim discovery in an Indiana cornfield marked the end of an era for organized crime in Las Vegas. Tony Spilatro, a longtime rackets boss of Las Vegas, was found murdered alongside with his brother, Michael. The slayings weren't solved for another 21 years. The I-team's George Knapp covered Spilatro during the zenith of mob influence, oh and he joins us now with a look back. It seems like people who were here remember where they oh, were that day. Yeah, Dave, Dave remembers. Was a big deal. That was remember a big story. Mm -hmm. A tough Tony Spilatro was one of the most uh, feared mobsters to ever land in Las Vegas. Law enforcement suspected him in as many as 26 murders. The story of Spilatro and his crew was fictionalized in the movie Casino. The true version of his 1986 murder wasn't revealed until a sensational trial more than two decades later. We're worried about you guys got to cut it out. I'm warning you know. right? A few words from Tony Spilatro were usually enough to stop people in their tracks. He was the undisputed king of street rackets in Las Vegas in the 70s and 80s. Spilatro earned his ferocious reputation as an enforcer on the mean streets of Chicago and was sent by outfit bosses to Las Vegas, an ambassador of sorts, where his primary job was to quietly protect the skim, millions of dollars being stolen from mob-controlled casinos. But Spilatro and his crew didn't keep a low profile for long. As in the case of Tony Spilatro, his, the hole-in-the-wall gang, uh, the robberies and the burglaries, the loan sharking and so on that came with it, and they had free reign to do whatever they wanted to do as long as it didn't create too much notoriety. Attorney Jeff Silver, back then part of the Gaming Control Board, was targeted for murder after helping to lead the investigation of the skimming operation. When Spilatro's burglary crew, the notorious hole-in-the-wall gang, was busted during a heist, the writing was on the wall. Prosecutors convinced one member, Frank Colada to become a government witness, admitting to murders and other crimes. And I shot him again. In June 1986, Spilatro was lured back to Chicago, supposedly with the promise that he would be promoted and that his brother Michael would become a made man. The two men were suspicious but drove away to a meeting. They never returned. In the movie Casino, the Spilatro brothers were beaten with baseball bats in a cornfield, then buried while still alive. The real story is different. It all came spilling out in 2007 when 14 mob figures went on trial in Chicago accused of 18 murders, including the Spilatros. The FBI's Operation Family Secrets relied on testimony from key mob figures. One defendant, Joey the Clown Lombardo, had been Spilatro's boss. Admitted hitman Frank Collada emerged from the Witness Protection Program in 2007 and gave his first interview to the I-Team. We asked his opinion about who okayed the Spilatro murders. Joe Lombardo. Well, he was Tony's boss, and he was my boss. Meaning you guys reported directly to him? Oh, Tony did. I reported to Tony. Uh, so Joe relayed the messages to Tony. And uh, do I think that Joe Lombardo was involved in it? I think that they would have to go to him for an okay on it, yes. Lombardo and four other mobsters were convicted in the trial. According to witnesses who participated in the slayings, the Sabalatros met their end in the basement of a home in the suburb of Bensonville. They were beaten and strangled, then the bodies driven to Indiana for burial. Nine days later, a farmer found the grave. DNA from the crime scene helped build the case 21 years later. Spilatro's longtime lawyer, Oscar Goodman, who went on to become mayor of Las Vegas, successfully defended Tough Tony in multiple cases and remembers a different guy than the feared killer. Well, we spent so much time together, George. Um, I, I couldn't help but having that kind of relationship. I must have represented Tony on four or five murder cases. I represented him on racketeering cases, on black book cases. Uh, only the good in Tony Spilatro. You know, I heard the FBI screaming and yelling that he killed 26 different people. And the only thing I could say to that is shame on them. If he killed 26 people, they should have put him in jail for a day. They, they didn't even do that. The murder of the Spilatros was a huge story back in 1986, in part because it was the last time the Mafia had that large of a presence on the streets of Las Vegas. In the years that followed, other mobsters tried to fill those shoes, but no one came close. And the convictions in the Family Secrets case pretty much gutted what was left of the mm -hmm. Chicago hierarchy, of course. Hole in the wall, gang. Yeah. Quite it still wince when I see some of those images. Mm. Quite an like era. Pretty yeah. brutal. Yeah. yeah, thanks, George. Uh, thanks, George.